Certain species in the animal kingdom, like the chameleon and the sand lance, have evolved to independently rotate their eyes, making stereoscopic depth cues unreliable. How then are they so effective at striking their prey? These species have evolved to rely on a depth cue known as ocular parallax. And while humans have taken a very different evolutionary route, we can still see the effect, albeit diminished. This cue occurs because the centers of rotation and projection of the eye are not the same. As a result, parallax is observed as the eye rotates. The complex optics of the eye can be reduced using a thick lens model in which the front nodal point, N, defines the center of projection of the eye. Even though the distance from this point to the center of rotation is only a few millimeters, changes in gaze direction create small amounts of depth-dependent image shifts on the retina, as illustrated here. This small shift, or microparallax, is one of the two depth cues observed during an eye rotation. Because objects at different depths shift with varying magnitudes, microparallax can be used to infer their relative ordering or possibly the distance to them. Near occlusion boundaries, parallax creates gaze contingent occlusion, which can further help identify the depth ordering of objects. These shifts, however, are largest in the near to mid periphery of the visual field, where visual acuity is lower than in the fovea. Moreover, the resolution offered by current VR displays is about five times below the visual acuity limit of normal vision, Therefore, it is unclear if the effect of ocular parallax is even visible in VR and, if it is, whether it improves depth perception. Motivated by these questions, we introduce gaze-contingent ocular parallax rendering as a new technology and study the complex interplay of ocular parallax, visual acuity, and disparity on the user experience in VR. Given a user's fixation point, ocular parallax rendering modifies the view and projection matrices in the standard graphics pipeline and incurs no additional rendering costs. We implemented a virtual reality display prototype using the HTC Vive Pro with a 120 Hz Pupil Labs eye tracker to evaluate ocular parallax rendering. In conventional VR rendering, the virtual scene incorrectly remains static as the user gazes around. With ocular parallax rendering enabled, objects at different depths shift depending on the user's gaze as they do in a real environment. With this system, we proceed to answering the first question. Is ocular parallax visible in current generation VR systems? To this end, we design and conduct a psychophysical experiment aimed at estimating the depth-dependent detection threshold at which ocular parallax is perceivable. Subjects viewed a gaze target rotating around a front and back target separated by some distance. Over the course of 225 trials, we measured the minimum distance between these two targets at which the relative motion between them was detectable for multiple subjects. We find that on average, the ocular parallax effect is detectable in VR for objects spaced just 0.36 diopters apart. This is much lower than the conservative visual acuity model predicts. We also estimate discrimination thresholds, or just noticeable differences, of ocular parallax. The results demonstrate that people can differentiate between very small amounts of gaze-contingent parallax, suggesting that ocular parallax might in fact serve as a depth cue. In a series of experiments, we investigate our second question. Does ocular parallax rendering improve depth perception? With these experiments, we show that ocular parallax functions as an effective ordinal depth cue, helping users better distinguish the relative ordering of objects in a scene but is unlikely to also act as a metric depth cue because it does not improve distance estimates to objects. We also show that ocular parallax rendering increases the perception of realistic depth in a 3D environment. For more details on these studies, details on ocular parallax rendering, and thorough analyses of the perceptual effects in VR due to a correct ocular parallax rendering, please refer to the paper. Virtual and augmented reality have focused on improving resolution, field of view, and other challenging characteristics. With this work, we hope to stimulate new directions for gaze contingent rendering and improved perceptual realism with next generation near-eye displays.